Hi everybody, this is Raymond Francis, and I want to talk about pollution from diesel engines. You know, pollution from diesel engines has been long associated with allergies, asthma, and cancer. Adding to this list, new data presented at the 2017 meeting of the European Society of Cardiology now links diesel pollution to heart disease. Here are some of the conclusions, and this is a quote, direct quote. There is strong evidence that particulate matter emitted mainly from diesel road vehicles is associated with increased risk of heart attack, heart of failure, and death, end quote. This appears to be driven by an inflammatory response. You see, you breathe in these fine particles and this causes localized inflammation in the lungs, which is then followed by more systemic inflammation affecting the entire body. So there you have it. Particulate matter from diesel engines causes systemic inflammation throughout the body, and inflammation causes disease of every description. The study also concluded that they're measuring harmful effects at a fraction of the current safety standards and that the standards are not safe and should be lowered. This is typical of many toxins, by the way. The standards are all wrong. They're all too high. They need to be lowered. So reducing diesel emissions should be a government priority, but don't hold your breath waiting for that to happen. Uh, the study also recommended that you avoid times and places where there are high levels of diesel pollution. For example, if you want a bicycle to work and there's a lot of diesel traffic, maybe you shouldn't be doing that, or at least find a route where there's not a lot of diesel traffic. Walk on the part of the pavement, you know, walking on the sidewalk, walk on the part of the pavement furthest from the cars to reduce the amount of pollution that you breathe in. Now here's another suggestion. Get yourself a good, high quality air filter to filter out these particles. I have a filter in my bedroom and in my office, the two places where I spend most of my time. So thank you very much for listening. Uh, I hope I've given you something useful and have a super day.